What's up guys, GMK has released a new V3 keyboard joystick. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use our new GMK custom software. To get started, you're going to take your device, plug it into your computer, and slide it under your keyboard. Next, you're going to hop on your computer and go to our website and click on the downloads slash getting started tab at the top. Here is where you're going to find all the instructions for what you need to download to get your joystick ready to use. There are two things you're going to need to download. A Vigem bus, which is like a controller driver that's used for everything that kind of goes with Windows, and the GMK software. Start by clicking on the Vigem bus install link. It should automatically go to your downloads folder. Double click the EXE. I'm not going to complete this download because I already have it installed, but it's really easy. Just click next, click finish. It should be done in less than five seconds. Next, you're going to click on the GMK driver. It's going to take you to this page. Here you can see known bugs and issues that we're working on. You can also report other known errors that you run into at our GMK discord. Click to download the driver here. You'll be taken to this page. Click install. You're going to get an EXE in your downloads folder. You're going to run that. We aren't verified with Windows, so you're going to need to click more info and run anyways. Click install. Again, you're going to have to run anyway because Windows is trying to stop you from installing it. It installs very quickly and now you have your GMK driver fully installed and ready to go. You can see that it's detected your joystick that's plugged in with its serial number and is giving you live updates saying that it's operational and that you need to rotate the joystick to complete calibration. From this point, you are ready to play games. You can exit your driver, which will put it in the hidden icons folder down here. So it's just running in the background. And to test your joystick, you can go to Gamepad Tester. And here you can see the Xbox controller that's showing up is what games are going to be detecting. The joystick is controlling the left stick. It's nice and smooth. The key on the joystick is controlling the A button. That'll be important for bindings in game. It's being read perfectly and you should be able to hop right in a game. For people that want to further utilize their GMK software, you're going to go to your hidden icons, right click on the GMK icon and hit open. From here, you're going to right click on your joystick and hit edit bindings. This is your configuration editor. On the left side, these are your existing profiles or configurations. As you can see, I have the default, which you will have. And then I also have Fortnite and Overwatch. In order to make a new one of these, you right click, hit add configuration, click new, and you can make whatever you want. I'm going to go to my Fortnite configuration. I'm going to set it as active here the, under this game association tab if you turn this on so with a check mark you can write the name of the game that you want to associate with it and when you start playing fortnite it will automatically activate your fortnite configuration profile you can do that for all the games you're playing so i'm going to do it for overwatch i'm going to turn it on type in overwatch and now if i turn on overwatch it'll automatically switch to this profile now how do you make the profiles different from the Fortnite profile, which I'm editing here? You're going to either click on the A button to change the bindings of the key. Right now, you can only change it to other controller binds, but in the future, you'll be able to bind it to your keyboard. More importantly, to adjust the left joystick, double click it. Here, you can change the rotation of the stick so that you can make it really comfortable for where you want forward on the joystick to be. You can also increase or decrease your dead zone depending on how loose your joystick module has become over time. Another cool feature that we've added is the 76 snap mode. So as you can see, I have it turned on with a medium intensity, but I recommend you exploring all the options. I'll show you what our snap mode does. I'm gonna hit save, exit my configuration editor, and go back to gamepad tester. As you can see, when I go over to the left, it's working normally, and then it jumps to the 76 degrees in both directions. This is going to mean that when you're running around in Fortnite, you can really easily get to that hard sideways, fully sideways run that you want to use to really have unpredictable and great movement. Not everyone is going to want to use this because it can limit your range of motion, but it's a great option for you Fortnite players out there. Another thing that you can look at in your GMK driver, it tells you what configuration has been loaded. So as you can see, it says that it loaded the Fortnite configuration. And if I go back into it and change to default and set that as the active, on the readout, it will say configuration loaded, default, configuration updated. So this is great for when you have it set up to automatically load based on what game you're playing. You can just get confirmation when you open Fortnite that it has loaded the Fortnite configuration. Look out in the future for updates to our driver. We're gonna add a lot of capability I hope you guys enjoy your new V3 GMK keyboard joystick. Happy gaming.